one. So this is April with Flowers from the Foss family. We garden in zone 4A and today um, I'm doing a second video. I did one earlier about um, planting echinacea and it was a super quick video and now today we're going to do a different one about um, well, let's see, kind of like organizing. I talked about this before, about this little organization thing that I have. And so I, you know, I said, I'll show you when I'm done. Well, I got two done. And so these are snapdragons and um, it's gonna be hard to see. I can get a closer shot later, but it says snapdragons right here. And then over here it says you can start them 10 to 12 weeks. And so we are gonna be starting these next week at 12 weeks. Um, so I have those in there and I'm going to be doing it a couple different ways because then in here I have the poppy seeds in here and, um, I can't even remember like when we're supposed to start these either and they might need to be have stilled, uh, cold stratification. So I'm going to look into that, but right now that's not what we're doing. Um, so if you can see right here, I have all the seeds that I want to start and everything. And, um, all the seeds and how many weeks we're gonna start them out. So that's kind of what I'm doing now. So I put everything in separate piles and there's tons of different seeds and I'll maybe go through some of them or whatever. But um, so I started with 10 weeks and these ones are poppy seeds. So maybe those poppy seeds are supposed to be um, started, we'll see. Actually, you know what I can do? These are already ready, poppy seeds. And I'm going to stick these poppy seeds in there too. These are Iceland poppies. I'm going to stick them in there. And these ones are all the ones that we, I think they're up there, all the ones that we saved from our flowers that we had in the garden. We dried them and everything. And then I put them in these little envelopes and that's in another video. So I have all those and I'm looking at it now. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. I'm very picky, aren't I? <laughs> Matt staring at me. Okay, so that's gonna be. I don't know, but we have. Um, oh, it must be ten weeks. There you go. So we're gonna start poppies ten weeks, and I just said that. <laughs> so ten weeks, poppies at ten weeks, and then we have things that we're gonna start at nine weeks, eight, seven, six. The six is like huge. There's tons in here compared to the rest. Five, and then these are four weeks. So here, this is what I'm gonna talk about. And then we have three weeks. So um, I bought this little thing last thing, the beginning of summer. And so it's a little printer and I'll try and get a close up of that. But um, it's an I. It's, well, it says it's for an Android, but it, I use my iPhone and it works just fine. And my iPad, so I have it hooked up to my iPad, and that's how I'm going to show you because I'm recording myself with my iPhone. So, and this is what it looks like. It's super cute, isn't that so cute? And so it prints out right there, and I'm going to show you how it works. And so I already did one just to kind of show you. And you do have to buy, um, I think it came with paper. I can't remember, but I bought extra paper too because I planted them out on my, um, I'll show you. I bought it for this. When I first bought the printer, I bought it for this. These go in the ground. And so I bought it to print out what the plants were outside. And then you put a protective... Um, seal on it, waterproof seal. They're waterproof seals. And then I stuck them in the ground. And I already did, I bought, this is my third pack of these. This is what it's called. And I got them from Amazon. And I love them. Okay. Okay, so I already started one. And these are, so I can start whatever in here at four weeks before our last frost 
And so for these ones, I just put like a few um, what I want for sure and what is in here. And there might be a couple extra that are not printed out on here. But I have Zinio, Zinnias, Cosmos, Alyssum, and Chamomile. And so we are planning on planting a ton of Cosmos as like our um, fence outside because we planted a bunch last year and they grow so tall and we're kind of up on a hill and then our neighbors are like down the hill a little bit so it's kind of like a nice little fence not that you know we don't like them or anything it's just having that nice little pretend fence and then the zinnias are so just beautiful and I they're colorful and all the things so we're gonna plant a ton of those and then a list them too um, the alyssum smells good and it's just so pretty like a ground cover so we have we planted a bunch last year but um we are planning on seed um starting them in like we did last year and doing way more because i love them so right now i'm just gonna um throw everything in here a little bit so i can figure out what's going on how i want it to look in here and um, so I'm gonna show you how to use this and then we'll go from there. Did you wake up from your nap? Okay. Okay, so we are, I'm going to show you how to use this little printer. And so you know, again, this is what it is. The app is um, Mark Life, I think. Was it Mark Life? I can't remember. Anyway. And so I have my iPad hooked up to it because you need it hooked up to something, a device. So you can type out what you want. That's how you do it. You type it out and then you hit print and then it prints out on this. So I'm gonna show you that. I'm. She just woke up so she's kind of crabby. Okay, so I already did chamomile and I put that on a different one. And so we are going to start over and how you do that is i like to double click double click that let's see if i can turn it okay you gotta hold on to me i double click that and then i'm going to erase that so i double clicked and then you can enter your text so what we're going to do now is we're going to put in my nine week seeds and these are okay hold on we're going to just put in the numbers we're going to put in nine space weeks okay this is hard to do upside down but we're going to figure it out so that's okay go tell dad so we're at nine weeks and then you can change your font which is just super cool and it'll change things on there okay that's cool but i want them all to be kind of the same so i was using i think this one i think I can't even remember, but it doesn't matter. Okay, and then you can hit the text layout on there. It's pretty big. And you can change the size how you want it. And I think I kind of want it a little small. So, what, is that 63%? I don't even ever look at that. Okay, and then what you do is you hit print so that's print and then it's going to ask you how many you want and stuff like that and so I'm going to show you now so I'm going to hit print and it's going to come out of here ready oh now it's working so it's printing out and then you push this up. Okay, I had to stop it because November was yelling. So it says nine weeks. And then you push that up. Push this up. And then it comes out like this. 
and then you pull it out really easily and then I'm going to stick it on here. Actually, I want it on this side. So all the weeks are on this side, like that. And then for planting things out nine weeks, let's see what we got. We have, we have yarrow and we have fever fuel. And so we'll start these at nine weeks. And so I'm just gonna plop them in there. And I think for this, and yarrow is a perennial. Um, fever few is not. It says tender perennial, but I don't know. Nine weeks. Okay, I'm gonna show you how to do this from the, um, so this is, it's called Mark Life, that's the app. And so what you do is you hit create label and then I have these gap labels, so they're just little stickers, um, like this long. If you hear any like crying, that's November, acting up, Matt Hazard. So I hit that one, and I go like that, and then they are 40, what is that, 40 by 14 mill millimeters? Don't ask me. And so then, oops, just hit OK. And then how I do it is I double click on there, double click, and then I enter the text that I want. Okay, so I'm going to do yarrow. I'm gonna um, click, type in yarrow, and then I can do what font I like. And I'm just gonna use the, it's a default font, so I'm gonna use that one, and then I go text layout, so you can change all kinds of things, and I just wanna make it a little bit bigger. And then you go back, and then you can move it like this by moving it around. So I like to have it in the middle as best I can, and then you hit print. And then what you do is it asks you how many you want, and I just want one. So I hit print, So I'm going to hit print, and then it's coming out right here, okay, and that printed, <laughs> I'm having a hard time, it says yarrow, and then how you get it out of there is you just push this up, which cuts it, and then it's a little tag, and then because I wanna know what's in here, because you know opening up is so much work, I'm going to also put type out fever few on here. I love it. Okay, so let's do another one real quick here. go back push the back button and then I double click on that and then I just erase it okay and so I can now type out what I want so fever few on there and let's try a different font just for fun um, they're all fine look at I love cursive but that'll be too hard to read just to like quickly quickly look at it um, this one is fun. Let's try that one. Well, wait. <laughs> They're just all super fun. It takes, I don't know why it's taking time to figure it out, but it is. So I think I used this one on my tags outside. Maybe not. Looks kind of wonky. Fever few. They're all fun, but I'm just going to do that one. <laughs> After all that, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going okay. to put it in the middle, and then you hit print, and then it's going to ask you to print again, or not again, but if how many you want. And so then I'll show you what that looks like. 
So you hit print and it's coming out, fever, feel, and then you push this little thing up like that and then you have a tag and then I'm going to put it right on the front. like that Oops. and I'm very wanting to be perfect about everything fever few okay so there's just let's see at nine weeks we're gonna put plant yarrow and fever few and um, see how it goes I have lots of the eight weeks. I have bells of Ireland. I have gay feather. We planted some out, some of these out right directly, sold them into the soil outside, and they didn't work. So we're gonna try them inside. This is hollyhock parsley. One of my favorite things was growing parsley. Um, I have never tried these, and so we're gonna try these. They're called can Canterbury. Um, I think they get really tall two to three feet tall. And then this is another hollyhock. We'll see. And we call these black eyed Susans at home here, I should say. And um, I, I love the way these look. They're so, so cute. And I don't know why we don't have any. So we're gonna do those. And then I've never tried this before. Um, soil and margaritas. Um, she's a youtuber that I love watching here. I love watching a few people on here and she's one of them and she planted I don't know if these they were these exact ones, but they were so cute in her garden. So I'm gonna try those So we're just gonna go through and do this again. So double click oh, geez. The heck is that? I don't know what that is <laughs> This stuff on here because there's a ton of different ones in here and they're um, I don't know it's not that big of a deal to me but I just want to make sure that none of these need cold stratification because yikes um, these hollyhocks do need to be soaked in warm water for 12 hours so um, I'll have to make sure I do that some of them I feel like might need But those will be fun. Eight weeks, and they're gonna go. These ones are new and um, they say container variety. I don't even know what that means, but these I've wanted and I've never tried white marigolds. We've tried these ones and these were some of my favorite things in our garden. Like really, if you don't plant marigolds, you should. And I'll put up some pictures because they were one of my favorite things and they produce like this big bushy bush with never ending blooms all through until the fall. It's until I think until the first frost, I don't even know, but super cute. And these we ha haven't tried either. And so these are painted daisies, so that will be fun. And one of my other favorite things was sage. So we um, obviously planted a bunch of sage and it was super cute. I don't know what that was. 
super cute. And then another thing I had lots of favorites was the basil. And so the cinnamon basil smells really good, but this basil was my favorite. It, I'll show a picture. It was like purple and just dark stems and um, foliage was dark. It's super, super cute. How do you say that? Amarado? <laughs> so get that one because that one's so cute. And then straw flowers. There's no more left in here, but I have a bunch of stuff saved. Um, hopefully I can figure out how to see, um, get the seeds out of the dried flowers that we have. And I've never tried, so we have dahlias in our garden and we save the tubers and hopefully they're okay. They're downstairs in the basement. And then, um, but these are seeds and you never know what kind you're gonna get when you plant seeds, but this says container variety, so they're short. So that's gonna be new and that's gonna be fun. Um, Celosia, these were really cute at first when, um, and then when you dry them, they're not cute. <laughs> so, and then this was, so pretty, the Sunday Gold Celosia in our garden. I highly recommend having this color in your garden. It was just so pretty. And then the Teddy Sunflowers are short and they're really cute. Those were cute. And then this um, Mexican Sunflower was a huge producer. Like it just kept producing and it was just such a cute little like bush, I would say. It wasn't like one single or two single tall stems. It was just really cute. <laughs> I need more of these in the garden because they were so cute, but I don't know why they didn't do very well. I think we actually planted these directly into the soil. So this year I'm gonna um, start them indoors. And then these two um, are new for me too, the Queen Lime Red and then the Zinderella Lilac. And I'll try and put pictures up of those. And then we have a ton of different zinnias. Love and a Mist and Oh, asters. Asters were beautiful. So I wish I could do more, but it looks like I don't have, well, I don't know, we'll see. So I'll put some pictures up of those in our garden. And then these are our five weeks ones. So I'm gonna start those at five weeks. So they're all nicely organized for me so I can just go in and be like, okay, I need to grab this. Let me show you. So next week when I come to start another packet of seeds or multiple packets of seeds, they're going to be snapdragons and I, it's 10 to 12 weeks, but these are going to be 12 weeks for me because um, we, what is that word? I can't even think. I'm tired. <laughs> um cut them snip them so it's a word I can't think of it but maybe I will later when they start growing and they're like four to six inches tall then you cut cut I know it's called something <laughs> uh, I need I need a nap you snip them so then when they grow they grow into a bush instead of just like and they grow more flowers instead of just like a couple or depending on whatever kind it is and so last year we did that with the snapdragons and we left some just growing on and then so they would bloom earlier and then we 
um, cut a bunch. Oh my gosh, I can't even think of the name. I will figure it out. So anyways, that's all for today. And um, sorry about the bad lighting. This time it's lighting. Hopefully the microphone's working well. But thank you so much for coming to my little channel. And I'm going to try and be more consistent. And um, so next week, next, yeah, so this week there's two videos up. This is the second one. And then next weekend, hopefully we, I can plant the snapdragons and um, we'll go from there. So thank you so much for stopping by and I will see you guys later.